Understanding Static Rope, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language, static rope. This term is not just two random words put together, but it has a specific meaning, especially in certain contexts. Let's dive in and unravel its meaning together. Static rope consists of two words, static and rope. Let's look at them individually. Static. This word often describes something that does not move or change. It implies a lack of motion or progression. Rope. A rope is a long, thick cord made from twisted or braided strands of material like hemp, nylon, or similar fibers. When we combine these words, we get a term used particularly in activities like climbing or rescue operations. In its specific context, static rope refers to a type of rope that does not stretch much under load. This is in contrast to dynamic rope, which is designed to stretch and absorb energy, particularly useful in activities like rock climbing where a fall might occur. Static ropes are ideal for situations where you don't want the rope to stretch, such as when lowering an injured climber, in caving, or when doing certain kinds of work at heights. Understanding the difference between static and dynamic ropes is crucial for safety in certain sports and professions. Using the wrong type of rope can be dangerous. For instance, a static rope is not suitable for rock climbing where falls are expected, as it doesn't absorb shock well. I hope this video has helped clarify what static rope means and why it's an important term in specific contexts. Remember, language can be as nuanced as the activities it describes, and knowing these nuances can be both fascinating and essential. Stay curious, and see you in the next video.